You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey, B&B fans, Belinda from Soap Dirt here, and we have got to talk about the recent actions of Sheila Carter and Ivy Forster that might be killing the marriage of Steffi Forster and her husband, Dr. John Finnegan. Let's dive in and talk about five ways things are quickly fouling up and whether their relationship can even be saved at this point. But first, please click subscribe if you've not done so. So just right away this week, we've got Steffi actually acting jealous over Liam, and that's all because of Ivy. So Steffi showed up at Il Giardino, and she pulled a face when she saw Ivy kissing Liam. Then she started asking if Ivy came to town just to suck his face, which Ivy did plenty of it more than once. And there's a lot of issues Steffi might have with Ivy, but Liam shouldn't be one. If Ivy wants him, so what? They are both single, and he is not Steffi's man. Steffi (laughs) was making a whole lot of faces, a whole lot of comments about Ivy and Liam tons of snark and then in the very last Ivy and Liam scene scene on a recent episode when Ivy kissed him again Steffi was getting outright twitchy with jealousy at least to my eyes and you know Finn has been overly understanding of Liam's ongoing presence in their lives but Steffi's jealousy over Ivy would not sit well with the doctor and why would it Ivy wants Liam back that much is clear but would she also take pleasure in seeing Steffi suffer. Maybe. I mean, they've had a very intense rivalry, but I'm not entirely sure that Ivy is out to ruin Steffi's marriage. That might be counterproductive. So the second thing, let's move on. Sheila has Finn out chasing her when he's supposed to be at work and instead he is not there and he's not answering his wife's calls. Even before all the stuff that Finn and Sheila said to each other that's got a ton of fans raging, let's recount where he was supposed to be and what he was supposed to be doing. Finn was due at work and told Steffi he was heading to the hospital. Then Deacon messaged and he veered off track and it seems he's not answering his calls again. Steffi has no idea her husband isn't at work and is off gallivanting with Deacon to find the nine-toed terror of LA. Finn should have checked in with her right away as soon as they found Sheila, or better yet, you know, call, text, tell her they're following up a lead, keep his wife informed, you know? It almost seems like he is ghosting Steffi to benefit Sheila, knowing Steffi won't like any of this. And boy, she's definitely not going to like any of this, not at all. Finn's actions on these recent episodes with Sheila would absolutely absolutely infuriate his wife if she knew. So is Finn hiding what he's doing in fear of Steffi throwing a fit? Or is he just so uber focused on chasing Sheila, he just forgot his responsibilities? If so, that may be exactly what Sheila wants, because despite what she says, we know she doesn't want him with Steffi. She said it out loud. The third thing, Ivy saw Steffi sabotage Liam's date with her. She watched it right in front of her. Not only did Steffi grill Ivy on why she's back in LA and slap some snark at her, she basically interrupted their date, inserted herself where she wasn't wanted or needed or invited, and then proceeded to gulp wine and make commentary. And yeah, I think Ivy was being kind of needy and a little bit extra, but so what? It's her life, she's single, and Steffi should have no skin in the game this point where Liam is concerned. Not really. Steffi was not going to leave them to enjoy their date though. And she should have. She should have just turned around and left, but she wasn't just going to leave him there with Ivy. I'm guessing she was worried Ivy would have wanted to go from kissing to a whole lot more than that, maybe heading back to his place, and Steffi was jealous. And then Steffi played the baby daddy card, saying Liam is Kelly's father and they need to go see her. But Kelly wasn't even at the Malibu Beach House. That was just a BS excuse to extricate Liam from that date with Ivy that Steffi didn't want him on. And if Finn saw Steffi doing this jealous act, sabotaging their date, acting like a jealous girlfriend, he would not be a fan of that. And I'm certain Ivy is not a fan. And it would be very easy for Ivy to walk away from Liam again. But will she? I don't know. There's no word yet on how long she's going to stay. So the fourth thing to think about, Finn telling Sheila that having her back in his life is everything. That's the word he used, everything. So 
I, I don't know why, but Brad Bell apparently thinks fans don't recall past episodes. They write the soap like we are all idiots who don't remember what happens from show to show. You know, they say goldfish only have a three-second memory. That's actually been debunked. But newer studies show that chimpanzees have one of the shortest memories of any animal, about 20 seconds. So I feel like Brad Bell must think he's writing for soap watchers who are sitting behind glass at a zoo. And if I was a chimpanzee, I would probably throw my poop at him. I mean, to be honest, it's just the writing is so out of character and just bizarre and in violation of history that it's very... Very frustrating. When Finn tells Sheila that having her back is everything, I mean, oi, it should be nothing. Sheila shot Finn when she was trying to shoot Steffi. Then she shot Steffi for good measure when she tried to call 911 to save the life of Sheila's son. The very fact that they're giving her a redemption arc is insane. And the very fact that this redemption arc is almost instantaneous is ludicrous. Not only did Finn say getting her back was everything, but also the that he believed Sheila when she said she loves Steffi and the kids and would give her life for them. He thinks Sheila has proved her redemption. And according to Sheila, Sugar was going to hurt Steffi and she wanted to protect her. And that's how she wound up taken captive. But I mean, really, Sheila has hurt so many people. Sugar has mostly just tried to get revenge on Sheila. She has hurt some people in that path, but mostly she was trying to hurt Sheila for lying and gaslighting and tricking her. And there's been some talk I've seen on soap social media about whether what Sheila's saying is true. So just a side note, some fans seem to think Sheila is lying and is in, is in fact the mastermind behind some sort of devious scam to shortcut redemption to make herself look better. Maybe, maybe. But at this point, based on what we've seen, I, I don't think she cooked up this scheme with Sugar or cooked up the scheme to target Sugar. Right now, I honestly just think it's bad writing. And we have no choice but to eat what Brad Bell feeds us, even if it tastes like garbage. The truth is, it makes no sense for Finn to give Sheila a pass on all this, but that's what we're seeing. It's what we're seeing on every episode now. And once Steffi hears Finn say that his mom, Sheila, is back in his life and he wants her around, it's hard to see how they survive as a couple. And even though Sheila says she loves Steffi, we all know she wanted her out of Finn's life not that long ago. She said it out loud. The fifth and final thing to talk about, Ivy triggered Steffi to heap praise on Liam, even though Steffi knows it's a betrayal of her husband. Steffi not only was jealous of seeing Ivy canoodling with Liam, but also was very quick to assure Liam that she had the same starry-eyed opinion of him that Ivy does. And that's not what we were hearing from her very recently. When Liam talked about wanting to be a better man, knowing he wasn't the kind of man he'd want either daughter to date, Steffi wasn't reassuring him with heaps of praise. But now that Ivy is praising Liam, Steffi's rushing to join in and catch up. I will remind you, Steffi told Liam she's not making a play for him. She said that on the recent episode. That may be true right now, but I think she's trying to keep him close by as backup, keep her options open. When she went on about how incredible he is, Liam even said, don't let Finn hear you say that. And he's right. Finn would hate it. Steffi's being very flirty. She deliberately cut his date short and now she's slathering him in compliments. That's not something she should be doing with her ex. And once it all comes out, could be a deal breaker when Finn finds out. So with no idea what the other one is up to right now, both Finn and Steffi are doing and saying things because of Ivy and Sheila that have a great potential to end their marriage. Steffi fawning over Liam and being jealous about him and Ivy would absolutely be a deal breaker for Finn after her past cheating with Liam. And I don't think Ivy went into this date with Liam with any idea that her big messy crush on him could mess up Steffi's marriage to another man. Why would she? But now you know, think about Sheila. Sheila may be much more clear on how Finn getting closer to her would break up his marriage to Steffi. So let me know what you think. Will all this Ivy and Sheila drama devastate Steffi's marriage to Finn and rip them apart? Let me know what you think. Subscribe if you haven't. Drop your comments and be sure and come back soon. We are here talking bold seven days a week. And as always, it's Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast. Because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 